Outrocast. Jada, how's your day going aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again? My day is going good. We did some good, cool stuff this morning that we're excited about, ready for it to come out. So, so yeah. Got it. I'm glad to hear that. Anaya, same question for you. Good day so far, aside from the repetition? Yes. <laughs> good day. Great day. And Victoria, two-parter, how's your day going? And where are you today? Because it looks like a beautiful building, but I don't think you're on the Wild and Out tour anymore. Well, <laughs> we still are on the Wild and Out tour, but our next show isn't till December. So, um, yeah, but that has been fun. But my day is going great. You know, we did some cool stuff earlier um, this morning. Um, I, I can't give you too much info, but it's coming out soon. And we are at a artist development school, actually the artist development school that we actually met at. Um, and yeah, we're, we're doing our second interview of the day and we're happy to be here. So when somebody sees you live on the Wild and Out tour, do they hear Sober and a couple other songs? What, what do you sing? So right now we're currently doing our Queens of R&B set with a little bit of something new. So we do our intro, we have our siren call, we do What About Us by Brandy. <laughs> And then we each get our little solo moments. So I sing Soon As I Get Home by Faith Evans. Anaya sings I'm, I'm Going, going down. down by Mary J. Blige. <laughs> and Victoria is singing Fantasia. Yes. yes, Lose to Win. Period. And then after that, we sing Love by Keisha Cole. Mm. Um, we have our little dance break that we also mm -hmm. added in addition to that. We do a dance break to They Not Like by Kendrick Lamar. And then we close wow. with some is any of that acapella? Because I think a lot of people first discovered you three because of how amazing you are with off the cuff acapella. In other words, this is a compliment here. A lot of people have to tune and wait to get ready for acapella and you two just sing and then you three can just do it. Well, yeah. None of it's acapella, but our intro very much gives like the stuff that we've been putting out on social yeah. media, like our covers and stuff. It's very harmonious. Is mm -hmm. it's very much could be a cappella. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But just know that everything we're singing is live. Very. Oh, the mic is on. <laughs> well, that's a very interesting point because I'm sure you have fans who want to hear you with the produced tracks and others who want to hear it a cappella. So are there plans to do any of your albums in the future or your EPs in the future, both the a cappella version and the fully produced? Of course. Yeah, that would yeah. be super cool. I think that's a great idea to kind of help merge our acapellas and then also give people produced tracks. So yeah, we're definitely not opposed to doing that. So going back to being on tour, you know, the tour that you were just doing alongside Escape and SWV, yet the Wild and Out, you're kind of starting out at arenas. Is that a whole new skill set to learn to immediately grab 10,000 people? I mean, we've been in artist development for a long time, so we kind of know how to do it, but it's definitely an experience yeah. starting off in arenas, especially with us just becoming a group. So yeah, yeah. it's definitely an experience, yeah. but we've been, we know how to do it. We were yeah. <laughs> Universal nodding to that one. We know how to do it. There's no nerves. <laughs> like, yeah. think about that for a second there. Just going out and being in front of 10,000 people, like the average person would find that very yeah. interesting. <laughs> or do you just learn that in artist school yeah. where it becomes second nature? I mean, you know, training definitely plays a part. You know, having the necessary training helps. Yeah. Um, but when we're on that stage together, we're having fun. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if a little, even if we notice like the, the cons, not just the pros, like if there's a little slip up, or like if the our mic pack, you know, something fell, you know, we laugh it off and we keep it going. Like yeah. we find the humor in in a lot of the stuff, like in a lot of the stuff that people will tend to look at as a bad thing. Yeah. But we're just on that stage singing, having a good time. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, there is like an adrenaline rush, you get a rush of adrenaline, yeah. but I think it helps us. It pushes us to like perform even better. So. Yeah. 
So it sounds like it's more natural to be on the stage than off the stage for the three of you. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's natural in all aspects. Yeah, sure. Everything comes a little easy. Yeah, everything comes a little yeah, easy. We just like that. Huh? <laughs> <I'm doing> it. <laughs> but it's good to see when the people out there are having yeah. a good time they're yeah. like okay like to see them actually rocking with us because yeah. you know a lot of times you could get a dry audience and they looking at yeah. you like yeah. who are you and you what are you doing up here <laughs> but when you see them smiling and like moving into the music it's, it's a good feeling yeah so a question i have about your background is your bio talked about how candy discovered your group because of a viral video of you all harmonizing which song was that was that i'm every woman Oh no. no. We were singing actually it was Danity K. Yeah. Uh, Danity I don't King. even remember the name of it. It was like I'm addicted to kissing. Yeah. I don't remember Sucker the name. Love. Sucker Sucker love. Love. Yes. That's, the song. That's what we were singing. Yes. yes. Sucker wow. for love. And she saw and she was like, Who are these girls that are singing dance? <laughs> I must know. <laughs> I must know. <laughs> it's it's funny though, with your influences <laughs> hearing Danity Kane, yet seeing an Anita Baker cover and then a Shaka Khan cover, it sounds like 30 to 40 years of pop music is all over the place with your influences. Yeah. Yeah. We love all kinds of music. Yeah. yeah. We do. We get into everything yeah. for real. And I feel like as an artist, I feel like a lot of artists nowadays, you have to study the greats, you know, mm -hmm. so you can pick things up and learn things and we definitely do that we definitely study the greats and learn from the greats yeah, i think Can that's I why a lot of people oh i'm rudely interrupting yeah. you that was my fault you please go ahead i'm <laughs> sorry that was unex uncalled for you're good <laughs> no you're good i was just saying like i think that's why a lot of people rock with us because we're young but we know all the the oldies. Yeah. We know the good. We got that soul in us. We mm -hmm. love R and B. Like, mm -hmm. like she said, we study the and we, you know, yeah. Well, Pay am I allowed to the ones that keeping their things before us? Totally. So, am I allowed to ask what your first concert was? All three of you. I think my very first concert that I ever went to was Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. it was the Dangerous Woman tour. Same. Really? My the first concert was yeah. My first concert was Ty Trivet. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm a gospel girl. I grew up singing in the church. So Ty Trivet was my first concert. He actually came to my church and did a concert. And he was fire. Love him. He's a performer. So yeah. Sure. Well, I've two questions left for all of you, and then I let you go. Then you're free with me. Uh the first question. Now, Sober charted really high, but as we talked about before, we're not allowed to know everything that's coming up because there's a lot of big things in the works for Siren. What are we allowed to know that's coming up next? So we're definitely working on the video for Sober. That's definitely yes. coming. Yes. And definitely, uh, I would say like, at the top of the year, definitely just working on getting an EP and getting some more songs out there. Absolutely. And we're still on the Wild and Out tour, like you said. So make sure you guys pull up. It's going to be fun. Okay. So I'm hearing new music is coming. More tour dates are coming. Or are you off the road while you're recording the EP potentially? Well, we record. Forward and then we, you know, go and do our shows. Yeah. You know, we have to multitask, get a lot of things done. Yeah. So, so we're excited. Okay. And the last question for you all, and this is a softball. Um, what is the best part about being in Siren? Aw. So, aw. For me, I would say the best part is just having two other people that are also in a similar situation as me that can also understand some of the things that I'm going through because we're all going through it together. So it's just being able to have people who are like, who who know what you're going through pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I would say um, hmm. being able to build with these girls mm -hmm. and learn more about each other um 
I genuinely love these girls and I think that like together we really are something special you know I don't see any anybody else out here that's that you know what we got I don't see anybody <laughs> with what we got I think that what we have is unique and I'm just really excited to keep going and keep pushing with these girls yeah well thank you all for your time I'm hope to see you live in New York in the near future looking forward to that next EP the next single and just keep up all the greatness out there thank, yeah. thank you so much, thank you so much. Outro cast.